Hello guys, it's Rekker, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. Dortmund versus Slavia Prague, man. Um, in the Champions League group stage, man. The sixth game. And uh, this game ended in a 2-1 win for Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Borussia Dortmund played very well. They could have won by more. It could have been an equalizer. Um, it, it could have went either way, bro. It could have went either way. It could have been an equalizer. It could have been a, a, a pretty much a bigger win for Dortmund. So, uh, shout out for Dortmund, man. I don't know where they'll be without my boy uh, J uh, Sancho, bro. Sancho is is a monster. That's all I gotta say, man. This guy is a monster. He's a phenom, bro. Like Jaden Sancho, bro. Like never, no matter what, bro. No matter how much money they come in for him, if the player don't want to leave, bro, do not sell him, bro. Cause Jaden Sancho is the future, bro. He's the beast, man. He's the problem. Um, Chelsea bought uh, Pulisic, man. If they had bought Sancho instead, bro, it would have been a whole different story, in my opinion. But I could see a lot of teams really going after Jaden Sancho. I think Jaden, Jaden Sancho, his price is going to be very, very high, man. But more than likely, he's going to go to a Premier League team like Liverpool or City or one of those teams. He used to play for City, so I'm not sure if you want to go back to City. Chelsea going to have a lot of money cause, because of the embargo, so... Who knows, man? Maybe Arsenal. Who knows? But yeah, man. So shout out to Jaden Sancho, bro. Uh, phenomenal game by him, man. Uh, man of the match, though, I probably got to give it to either Jaden Sancho. I'll give it to Jaden Sancho because he had two goal assists. Uh, so, uh, what's the name? Solsek? Solsek, man. The, the player that scored for uh, the midfielder that scored for Slavia Prague, man. Phenomenal game by him, man. This guy work rate is just crazy. Him doing it pretty much everything by himself, man. Scoring the goal everything bro this guy was phenomenal bro like yo uh stop your problem man they played very well man very unlucky in my opinion bro i think if they was in a different group stage they probably would have um they probably would have done better man because they, they had a very tough group stage man so that's why they did so poorly but they drew three games and lost three games man so that's not really bad in my opinion and um they haven't won one game man but that was really hurting them, bro like them not winning games they always get sometimes they get the lead but sometimes they just um um just give up the lead bro and teams come back in the game man because like dormant bro dormant um dormant was they, they wasn't firing on on their on as a regular team man it was not firing them on all cylinder bro they was pretty much a bottle they was bottling a lot in front of goal a lot of players was choking they missed a few good opportunities there was a few good one and up one on one opportunity between uh players like uh brent and uh Brandt, uh, uh, Mark Royce, and uh, Thor, uh, Thorgan Azer, bro. Like, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Kolar. And Kolar came up big and saved multiple shots after multiple shots. One-on-one -on -one opportunities, man. So, Kolar did very well, man. Poorly. Defense was very poor overall. Um, especially, um, uh, Cordelo. Cordelo was very poor for Club Roy. And, uh, Alanji was very poor. What's the name? Alanji. Akanji, whatever his name is. Very poor overall, man. I was... Um, Akime, he played more forward. He looked very good in that in that midfield role. Uh, we uh, Vigo, Vigo uh, eventually got um, got sent off with two yellow cards. Man, poor game. Man, definitely was one of, was the worst player out there on the pitch. They really contribute nothing to the game, man. So he picked up two yellow cards within like six. Uh, no, no, he picked up two yellow cards within eleven minutes, man. And it was just a poor overall, man. Berkey in goal, man. Berkey in goal was very good for uh, Dortmund. Uh, Zagadu very good on the left side. Matt Hummels very good as a center back, and uh, Akanji man very very poor game overall. Nothing really major, nothing special for him tomorrow. today. Probably a game that you don't want to remember. Uh, who else out there today, man? Uh, Guerrero did very well on the left uh, midfield. Um, Brent, yo, yeah, Brent was very good, man. Uh, scored a goal, scored a pretty much the the, the winning goal in the 61st minute after after um, Slappy Pro equalized. Finna be game by him, man. And he had a few good opportunities, man. One-on-one -on -one opportunities with the goalkeeper. And he pretty much didn't do nothing about that, man. So probably should have done better. Should have, probably should have been more clinical. Overall, he probably would have scored multiple goals. Um, as I said, man, Vigo uh, picked up two yellow cards, man. Very poor. Never really contributed nothing to the game. No really serious tackle, interception, none of that stuff, man. It was just poor. Pretty much a passenger today, in my personal opinion. Uh, Akimi on the right did very well. Sancho, man, a goal assist, man. Doesn't get better than that, bro. Does not get better than that. Scored a goal in the first nine, ten minutes of the game, man. That was just amazing. So, Ben Sancho, man, my man of the match. For that game by him, man. Thorgan Azar did very well. Alongside Marco Royce up top. Marco Royce probably, as I said, man, probably should have scored multiple occasions. But, um, the, the goalkeeper for Slavia Pro, man, came up big and saved multiple of his shot. And uh, Kohler did very well for Brogue. Those are the players I stand out. Kohler did very well. Uh, Takas, 
uh what's the name Tecox did very all right Kofal did okay Peter Bielokar but he did all right um soul segment phenomenal game by him uh, pretty much the, his best game so far in champions league sad to see it's over man very good game by him uh Standu man did very well attacking midfield role and uh yeah man uh Sido, uh Skoda up top it was very poor overall man but uh very surprised by um Dortmund not really surprised by Dortmund winning this game I expect Dortmund to win this game man but uh, very surprised that uh, Savia Pro, man, they did very good. In my opinion, they did better than I expected in the group, man. Pretty much everybody saw in this was group of that. Everybody was laughing at uh, Savia Pro for me in that group, man. But they did all right, man. Hopefully, they'll learn from this and they grow from this, man. Because it was a tough group, man. Inter Milan, Barcelona, and Borussia Dortmund, bro, all in the same group as them, man. That was just like torture. That was just like overdoing it, in my opinion, man. But stat wise, man, Barcelona, I mean, uh, Borussia Dortmund. Stat wise, man, Slavia Pro was the better team with more ball possession 52% ball possession compared to Borussia Dortmund, 48% ball possession. Shots in total, Slavia Pro had more shots in total with uh, 18 shots in total, while Slavia Pro had. Uh, well, Borussia Dortmund. So Slavia Pro had 18 shots in total, Borussia Dortmund had uh, 16 shots in total, and Borussia Dortmund had 8 shots on target, Slavia Pro had 8 shots on target. So both teams were pretty much equal in the shooting department so definitely like definitely subscribe follow me on facebook instagram twitter leave a comment share the video let me know about my my uh thoughts on the game what's your thoughts on the game without you boys out of here